What up YouTube? Welcome back to another Division 2 video and it's Wednesday so we're gonna have a look at Cassie Mendoza. Yesterday I showed you all the other vendors in the last vendor reset and today we're gonna have a look at the last vendor of this week. Thanks for clicking my content, really appreciate you joining me and if you like my content and wanna help the channel out because that's how YouTube works, smash that like button and hit me up with a comment down below and of course if you didn't do it already hit that subscribe button with that little notification bell next to it to keep informed whenever I upload new videos. But are you ready? Let's go! And there we are guys, at Cassie Mendoza, the designated hitter, the named marksman rifle with of course perfect reformation on there is for sale with maxed out marksman rifle damage, damage to target out of cover already on there so you can roll that headshot damage to that max cap and you only have to optimize 3% for damage to target out of cover to get this gun to god roll. Then over to the anarchist cookbook of course the named golem backpack with perfectly wicked on there 140k armor 7.8 percent explosive resistance and 8.8 percent status effect this is a very nice buy the armor is high up there and status effect is already on there so we can roll explosive resistance for whatever you think is necessary then over to the shield splinter 12.7 percent assault rifle 14 and a half health and 12.9% swap speed and of course perfect optimist because it's the named AR. Swap speed isn't that great but we can roll it away for some damage to target out of cover for example. You have a decent shield splinter. Then over to the hunter killer. 122k armor, 7.6% explosive resistant and 4.7% critical hit chance and of course perfect intimidate because it's the named golden vest this could be a very nice buy if you're still looking for it roll that explosive resistance away for whatever you think is necessary that critical hit chance on there is very nice to have and then optimize the rest gonna set you back a little bit but can be a very nice buy if you don't see the hunter killer or if you don't see the shield splinter that means that you need to take out all the hunters that the game has to offer for the shield splinter you need to take out all the year one hunters they will drop eight keys for you open up a box in the white house and after you open up the box your shield splinter will be for sale every week at cassie mendoza same for the hunter killer but now take out all the year two hunters they will drop eight keys for you as well open up a box in haven and after that you can pick up the hunter killer every week at cassie mendoza over to the backpack from eclipse with 8.8 percent status effect already on there this could be a very nice buy as well we only have to optimize 1.2 percent for the status effect to get it to god roll if you don't want to go for the status effect then just craft it it has a skill tier so we can always god roll it ourselves then over to hunter's fury's chest with 15 percent weapon damage maxed out weapon damage 3.3k arm regeneration and then of course roll that arm regeneration away for some crit chance or crit damage to have it to god roll over to the hardwire gloves you know my opinion it has a skill tier so always craft it we're not gonna use that hazard protection over to the knee pads from hardwired with 8.8 percent status effect but again it has a skill tier so if you have the blueprint always craft it we're not gonna use that status effect on the hardware wired over to the nago holster with 4.8 percent critical hit chance and 12.2 percent weapon damage already on there in my opinion roll that weapon damage to the max cap and optimize the last 1.2 percent critical hit chance to get it to god roll very nice buy if you ask me over to the mask of aces of eights and this is a little bit lower only 10.6 percent weapon damage because we're not using that repair skills on there so in my opinion please leave it here over to the f2000 could be a decent buy as well if you want to go for preservation because i'm not loving that magazine size in my opinion roll that magazine size away for some damage to target out of cover or damage to armor you have a decent gun if you want to go for preservation then of course over to the first wave pf45 handgun my opinion go for the open world 
Backpack from Fenris, 11.7% weapon damage, 7.8% headshot, 7.8% skill damage and Bloodsucker on there. Bloodsucker can be very nice but in my opinion it's too low on weapon damage because we need to roll that skill damage away. If you want to go for this and optimize it to that max capacity then in my opinion roll that skill damage away for some crit chance or crit damage for example. Over to the Petrov knee pads with maxed out critical hit damage and 3.8k arm regeneration already on there. If you want to go for the armor regeneration and the critical hit damage combo then roll that weapon damage to the max cap. You only have to optimize a little bit of arm regeneration to get it to god roll. Then over to the mods, 5% critical hit chance and 8.8% health for your drone. But yeah guys that's pretty much it for Cassie Mendoza. We have a few nice buys. We can pick up the Anarchist cookbook. Of course there are a few other things like the Hunter's Furious chest. But yeah that's pretty much it for the vendor reset. Of course I showed you all the other vendors yesterday. But for today thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to smash that like button. And hit that subscribers button. And of course the notification bell. Pure Prime out!